let's talk defense. The, the Niners should win this game again, but the one thing that is kind of concerning is that no Debo, that's the Niners' explosive element. Seahawks still have DK Metcalf, and he is one of the more explosive players in the league. He's the kind of guy who can – you know, catch a pass, run through your defense, score from 75 yards out. It's nice to have a player like that. It really <laughs> makes the game easy. And the Niners have had that all season. Now they don't. The Seahawks still do. And the thing about him is he didn't really get the ball much last week. And it's a whole talking point in Seattle. Yes, Where the hell is DK? So I think it's probably going to be um, featured in their game plan. And what do the Niners have to do to make sure he doesn't ruin this game for them? Well, Russell Wilson, after the game, you know, he said, we have to get the ball to DK more. They, they know it, we know it, and it's going to yeah. happen. I, I I feel like for Pete Carroll, he has to do it. It's a media thing at this point. It's yeah. it's a fan thing at this point. But it's yeah. also a no-brainer. If DK gets the ball, he's violent. He's hard to bring down. Yeah. And, uh, Just like know, basically, we've got no one in the secondary who can man up against him. Plain and simple. He gets one-on-one -on -one with them, he will run them over. Hufanga is the only guy I fear who can match his physicality, but he can't match his speed. And I just right. don't, that's a mismatch if, the, if he has to go against him. Jimmy Ward has man coverage abilities. I feel like this is going to be Ward against Metcalf. That's what this would com come down to. And, I, you know, Ward's got the attitude and he's got some man coverage abilities that he, he brings something back there. This is the finesse part that we were talking about, Jimmy Ward. When it comes to the physical part, forget about it. DK Metcalf will run him over and not even notice he's there. But when it comes to the finesse part, Jimmy Ward brings intelligence. He brings good zone coverage. He brings good man coverage. So I feel like... Jimmy Ward has to know where DK is at all times. And tell it just seems like, like Ketor, he's just eliminated somehow, as you say, in the garage from the game. Jimmy Ward will have his eye on there. I trust Jimmy Ward in this. I, I, I do. I, I, I feel like the Seahawks, they have Tyler Lockett. We can't forget him. He has he had some perceptions. <clears throat> he's getting the ball more than DK. Yeah. yeah. And the, the thing I will have to be blunt, I, I mean, I'm racking my brains for what do you do. And the only person that can do anything is Jimmy Ward because our corners, Emmanuel Mosley is the only option to go up against him. But then what if you have Tyler Lockett against right. Josh Norman? I actually prefer the Norman, if I'm the Seahawks, if I'm their offensive coordinator, my favorite matchup would be Lockett against Norman. Okay. Yeah. That's where I would go. And yeah. I'd let I'd let DK Metcalf be the eye candy. I would get him the ball a couple of times, let him soften up the secondary. But Tyler Lockett to me is also an X factor here, but I think that's a that great point. And he I, really I, I just is. don't think the Niners have an answer besides Jimmy Ward will have to be responsible and he will be cleaning up some issues back there. And I think that, I think the defense, I think D'Amico Ryans needs to understand Josh Norman against DK Metcalf is free. It's free yards. It's a, <laughs> it's a pass interference or it's a reception. So we yeah, have I think the secondary will... against Lockett and, and Metcalf. That's worrisome. That's what the Seahawks have over us in this game. I think Emmanuel Mosley can cover DK Metcalf. I think Emmanuel Mosley's pretty good. The problem with DK is no one can tackle him. So if he gets like, you know, catches the ball on a slant, he gets moving, like he breaks tackles. So that's, I think tackling DK is going to be a big deal, just like it is tackling Debo. Like, yeah, like, we can't let like him Jimmy Ward, Jaquaski Tart. You guys need to tackle this guy in the open field because when he cr cr killed him last year in Seattle, when Jimmy Garoppolo started that game and got hurt and left, he was just running through the defense like a freight train, the way Kittle used to do. So they have to not – they have to tackle him, get him low, get his legs. He'll bounce off. If you go high, he'll bounce off of him. You'll get hurt. Mostly, I will say, he has been jumping off the screen a little bit later for me as far as, as, as his willingness to tackle. He flew around all over the place in that Vikings game. So I do appreciate the motor that Mosley brings. And his coverage abilities are sound. They're good enough. Yeah. Yeah. But tackling, that's an issue. Because uh, DK isn't a great route runner. Like, he he's just – He's just a freakish combination of size, speed, power, and uh, momentum. Yeah, so, I mean, you can cover like him. It's just Tyler rough. Owens with what? like kind of yeah, he's what, a lot like. But his route running is 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 kind of I do my own thing Pretty for much. the most part. He's like, all right, I'm supposed to post somewhere around there and then go that yeah. direction. Just get me the ball. Definitely, he's he's yeah, not once polished. he gets the momentum, he's tough. <laughs> tough. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen a lot of receivers not be. I mean, one of the reasons Anquan Bolden could be so slow but be so good is because he worked on his route running. We'll see how long DK Metcalf lasts without. And he was hard to bring down. He was hard to bring down.